Hey guys, my, uh, my name's Charlie Lyons. I'm an athlete on the Freeride World Tour and I have been for the last four winters. I'm uh, from uh, the east coast of the South Island of New Zealand. Spending the time uh, to look around the mountains throughout the day and watching how the shadows are moving and, and the effect that can have on the snow. Last winter I made a really big mistake in Hochfugen in Austria. I um, skied a south facing aspect after some new snow. We had maybe 30, 40 centimetres over 48 hours. We skied the run before. It was super good, super stable, no, no problems. And then um, went back up for a second run with a bear in between, kind of funnily enough. And then in that time frame of lunchtime, you know, the, the, the south the south facing and the full solar effect on the uh, snow changed the snow surface a lot. And we had some point releases. I actually was partially buried. For me, the biggest thing was not recognizing the mistake I made but also, if I had recognized that mistake, what would have I done differently? Would have I walked out of the phase? Would have I picked an alternative route? And I, with the experience I have, I think I for sure would have. Is to manage the risk and have a backup plan, have a plan B. I think often if you have an objective A and not an objective B or an objective C, if you get sucked into one objective too much, you can make decisions that are built by pressure, opposed to built by hey, we've got these other options, is this option better than the other one?